and it's uh, it's working great. Now, the next step we're going to do is I'm going to power this down and I'll lay this out so it's sort of neater to see here. So this is the main power going to the whole FPV system and I have the video transmitter going to it, the on-screen display going to it, and the camera going to it for power. And now what I'm pretty much going to do is I'm going to plug the on-screen display in and also I'm going to plug in this video switch. Now, hence the importance of putting servo plugs on things and it makes your life a lot easier. The trick is, is if we plug this into camera one, which I have to make sure my cables are lined up where it says signal, what I want to do is I want to use a jumper for the video here. This is going into the video transmitter. But what we're doing also is with this power wire, we're transferring power into the switch to the camera. So this is going to go where it says video out, which is right here. We just got to make sure our signal's lined up. So right now I have camera one, and you can put uh, camera two and three on here too. But this is the video out, and it's going directly into the video transmitter. Now, another thing I can do is plug the second FPV camera in into camera two or camera three, which I think if you're using two cameras, you want a two position switch, it's gonna be one and three. If you have a three position switch, you can put it on two or three, and the middle position will be camera two, top or bottom will be the third, I should say, position will be camera three. And what this end of the switch is for, it's going to go to your receiver in a, any open channel, and you can assign a two or three position switch so you can switch the cameras. So the next, uh, the next thing we're going to do here is I'm just this is an example of how to use a video switch, real easy. You do have to make sure you have power going to it to power the cameras, okay? And the power will carry through to all three cameras. Now, what I wanted to show you is the on-screen display. Now the RMZB on-screen display is a little more complicated only because you have your video and your ground in and your video and your ground out. There's no power as far as powering the camera goes through here. So what we're going to need to do in this case is where the power comes into the OSD, I'm going to run a jumper to the servo plug, which I need a mail here. I'm going to run these two, which these two out of the video, the OSD are, you have your red is your video and your black is your ground. This red and the servo connector will be powered from this, the power going into the on-screen display. That way I know that my camera will have power. Now, because I am using the video switch, the camera should be getting power from the switch so we can we can skip that step in this uh, in this process. So what I'm going to do is cut this wire, which should be the power wire because we don't need it. Which it's important to have a sharp pair of side cutters, which I don't have in front of me. And we're gonna we're gonna put some uh, heat shrink tubing. And guys, heat shrink tubing is the best invention ever made. I think. I'm using two millimeter here and I think four millimeter. I put the four millimeter on first onto the whole wire and then I put each individual wire in two millimeter and then I can slide the four over it all and it makes it a lot, a lot neater of a setup. Okay, so not to confuse anybody like I already haven't, I'm sure I have, but we're just gonna use these two cables here, the ground and the video. And we're gonna get these hooked up for both the in and the out and we're going to do that right now to show you guys how that's hooked up all right guys i wanted to show you this uh, pretty much all set up and complete ready to go and if i can try to do this the easiest way possible what we have is our battery supply okay the battery is going to be plugged here we have power going to the video transmitter and the on-screen display this is the gps 
Now on the on-screen display we have video in and video out and ground in and ground out. That's it. There's no power going to the camera. So what I did in this case was, and if you can see here, I have the video in going to the video out on the video switch. You can have camera one, which I have here, and then you can have two more cameras. But what this does is it gives you your on-screen display on all the cameras. So whether you're looking at the GoPro or your OSD camera, you'll have the on-screen display information showing your battery, voltages, and uh, distance from home and all that. So I have my video in, or I'm sorry, my video out going to my video out going to my trans transmitter and then it's being sent to the goggles. So we'll retrace the steps backwards from the video transmitter. We're going to go to the video out of the OSD, through the OSD, and to the video out of the video switch to the camera, which would be the source of the video. So starting with the camera, we're going video in, camera one to video out, to go into video into the OSD, to video out to the transmitter. Now in this case, because I have a 12 volt camera, we have to get power to the switch so the camera can receive the power. And in this case, what I did was, and this is the easiest way I can show you, you can see my video in and video out to the REM ZB. I made a jumper for the power cable. Now these, they're, they're all the same color one because that's the way that they came, but these are both our video lines and these are the grounds. This red wire is the power, so the middle wire is the power and I'm, I just made a jumper, okay? So my video in and my video out, I have the power going across, so I have power going from, from the, the, the main power to the camera to the switch to all my 12 volt cameras. Uh, a much simpler way to do this without the on-screen or without the video switch would be just to unplug this and this is nice this is everything's wired plug and play it only takes a second and for the guys who don't need a video switch we can plug the camera directly in to the REM ZB which this will be a lot easier to follow guys so we have the camera going to the video in the REM ZB video out to the video transmitter and our power to the camera goes all the way through okay so we maintain power to the camera next thing we do now is uh, we're going to fit it on the quad and uh, we'll take a look when it's all done And I leave room here so I can plug in the USB adapter. All right, guys, we got the uh, FPV system on the Phantom now. And real simple, I just uh, screwed the camera to the battery door there. So it is uh, movable. And um, as far as the on-screen display goes and video transmitter, it's in the back here. And I just used Velcro on this. This is actually uh, one that uh, it's borrowed right now, so that'll be changed. Put the GPS on top there. And I put the board, because it is a REM ZB, I put it underneath with the button down so you could just go up and push the button. Got all the wires neatly zip tied in there. And there you go, that's going to be the, I think the easiest way, I mean without the uh, REM ZB OSD, it'll be the easiest way for a quick FPV system for your Phantom. If you guys have any questions at all, please just uh, 
comment or write me and I'll get right back to you. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to the channel.